breakfast at the Grease and Spoon. So, uh, yeah, we're just here. I always like the look of that art store. It always looks incredible. Picture frames for stores, but then in the other window, they've always got art supplies. You see, the boutique stores are starting to get a little bit more interesting here, but that's where we're going. The stock pot. They, uh, they sell English, English food and Italian kind of English versions of Italian dishes. If that makes sense. Super inexpensive. The one, everyone was crying when the one in Soho went because it was uh, super central and really inexpensive. So yeah, I'm going to go in here and we'll get a, uh, a breakfast. Let's see the Cadogan Arts. Under development. Welcome to the stock pot Chelsea. I'd describe the menu as it's a cafe, a diner, so it's all simple food. Um, it's Anglo-Italian so you've got pasta and some main courses some British classics like liver and bacon burgers omelette salads and I'm here for the breakfast menu I'm gonna get the full English breakfast so egg bacon sausage baked beans hash browns toast and I'm gonna get a coffee okay full English with coffee thing I kind of enjoy about the stock pot all the staff seem I believe they're Italian and they're like these little Italian touches some flair so I ordered a coffee and if this was a British run greasy spoon you would just get a black filter coffee maybe with milk in or maybe it's, you know the little pots of milk but here the chaps bought me a, a cappuccino which is very nice the other thing they do when they serve my breakfast they then brought around the black pepper meal and offered me freshly ground black pepper as if I'm in an Italian pizzeria which is uh, it wouldn't happen in a traditional British greasy spoon but I've got a sprinkling of freshly ground black pepper why not the constant roar of supercars in the area here um, yeah so this is the full English breakfast at the stock pot uh, two bacon sausage hash browns beans tomatoes egg and toast I'd recommend the uh, stock pot if you want something filling tasty and above all else great value for money if you're looking for something fancy if you want to impress someone or be impressed this isn't the place um, this is the kind of place that locals will come for breakfast lunch and dinner um, and people that work locally in the area it's a it's a cafe not a fancy restaurant I'd also recommend the stock pot if you're a tourist or visitor to London if you've got things to do and places to go because the service is very friendly but it's also super fast and efficient so uh, yeah you can pop in here and have a quick lunch rather than a long boozy one in one of the finer restaurants along the street that was great okay Breakfast at the stock park was great. Now raining. I never needed one of these before I uh, started vlogging. Still kind of don't, but uh, the camera does. Okay. Right, it's raining a bit harder than it was before. Yeah. Uh, I definitely recommend breakfast at the Stockpot if you're in Chelsea. Um, like a lot of things in Chelsea, it's not the best in town. Um, there's a lot of second best. Uh, the best breakfast is definitely, the best greasy spoon, best breakfast definitely is um, the Regency Cafe by Victoria. Um, however, we're not in Victoria in Chelsea and it costs more. The one at uh, that kind of breakfast will cost you a little bit more at Regency, but that one was very good. Um, if you're in town and want to try full English. Also, throughout the day, the, uh, the menu, the whole menu is just great value for money. 
um, sort of a mix of British classics um, and Italian uh, Italian dishes cooked kind of a, in a British style. In fact, um, the way my way it was Italian, and uh, I ordered coffee. I was expecting something strong and black, but I got a cappuccino. So I guess in Italy it's cappuccino time, and uh, so yeah. But the thing is, when things are inexpensive, and plus I didn't specify, you can kind of forgive a lot. Um, also, he brought around a, a black pepper grinder and ground black pepper onto my. Uh, I was avoiding black pepper, why not? So I had ground black pepper on my breakfast, which isn't standard practice in most British greasy spoons, I've got to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm recommending it. It's just uh, all these places have funny little twists. Um, just over here uh, is another real popular spot, as I was saying earlier, with ladies at lunch and my girlfriend for dinner last night, uh, the Bluebird Cafe. I'm not sure if it is a cat, it might just be bluebird, but uh, well, it looks like it was a former garage, sort of petrol station. Now it's sort of a restaurant and a shop. Super popular. Way more expensive than the stock pot. But uh, I'd love to know how much the chicken I had from dip for dinner last night from there cost. Oh, we? But yeah, it was delicious. Um, I just want to head around the corner and show you one last thing down this way. And that is the uh, clock house shop. Is it the World's End? Vivian Westwood shop. It's kind of another one of the uh, other iconic buildings. 